Uh, the second video on the Slutsky equation will now do a example problem. So here's the Slutsky equation that I derived in an earlier video. And so we're going to use this utility function, this Cobb-Douglas utility function, good X and good Y, and the consumer has income M <clears throat> facing the price of good X and the price of good Y. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drive the demand for good X. And I'm getting the marginal utility, <clears throat> excuse me, the marginal utility for good X and the marginal utility for good Y by taking partial derivatives here. When the consumer maximizes utility, the marginal rate of substitution equals a ratio of the price of good X to the price of good Y, <clears throat> where the marginal rate of substitution is a marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. And we're going to just solve this mass here for Y, and it'll simplify down to something nicely like this. We're going to plug this result into the budget constraint, and then we're going to also uh, plug it into the utility function. First, let's plug it into the budget constraint. So the budget constraint, where I see a Y, I'm going to plug in this result here, and I'm going to simplify it for X. So the price of good Y, price of good Y cancel, we get this. Solving for X, <clears throat> we got the ordinary demand for good X. We're going to take that <clears throat> same result over here and now plug it into the utility function. So where I see a, a Y um, in the utility function, I'm going to plug in this result. <clears throat> and I'm going to solve it for X. And that will be our compensated demand for good X. Okay, moving on. We need to also solve for the indirect utility function by substituting the demand for good X, what would I just solve, and the demand for good Y. I didn't solve the demand for good Y, um, but if you did solve the demand for good Y, you would get this result right here. And so we're going to plug those two uh, demand functions into the utility function. Here's our utility function. So where I have X, I'm going to put in the demand for good X. Where I have Y, I'm going to put in the demand for good Y. Doing that and simplifying, we have this result, which is an indirect utility function. So once again, our Slutsky equation. And a couple of the key things uh, that we need in order to uh, do our example. The demand for good X the compensated demand for good X, and the indirect utility function. So let's start with the total effect of the price change. So the total effect of the price change is uh, this left-hand side term. It's just the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to the price of good X. So here's our ordinary demand. We're going to take the partial derivative of that with respect to price of good X. So doing that, we get this result right here. So notice it's negative, you know, demand curve slope downwards. All right, let's get the substitution effect. The substitution effect of the price change is going to be given by the partial derivative of the compensated demand for good X with respect to the price of good X. So I'm going to take the partial derivative of this function right here, the compensated demand function. And doing that, we get this result down here. And one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in the indirect utility function into this uh, for u bar here. So I'm going to take this m divided by all of this math mass, and I'm going to plug it in for u bar. So I do that over here on the right-hand side. So once again, just writing that result over here, bringing it back up. What is u bar? Well, it's this income divided by this mass over here. And now I'm just going to simplify. Uh, the price of good Y, that's going to cancel. And adding up the exponents on the price of good X terms, it's just going to be the price of good X is going to be squared. And so we get this result. 
that represents our substitution effect. And finally, the income effect is uh, this minus x, the ordinary demand, multiplied by the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to income. So for x, I'm just plugging in the ordinary demand, income divided by 2 times the price of good x. And then finally, the partial derivative result, taking the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to x, we just get 1 divided by 2 times the price of good x. And simplifying that a little bit, we get this result. So once again, the Slutsky equation and putting in the substitutions of what we just solved on the previous slide, the total effect, the substitution effect, and finally the income effect. And let's simplify the right-hand side a little bit. Okay, So that'll be minus 2m divided by 4 times the price of good x squared. And then simplifying that a little bit more. Looks like we did this problem right. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.